Thank you, sir, for your valuable uh, advice. Then may I request Sri Raj uh, Ravinder Rao Ji, Chairman of Telangana Cooperative Apex Bank, to take over the session, please. The main speaker of the day and also tomorrow, Shriman Subhash Palekarji, uh, retired Chief General Manager of Nabad, Mr. Mohanayagaru, Chandrasekhar Garu, Stambaya Garu, Adevidanga, Jalpatra Garu, and the all the friends who are here to listen to Mr. Subhash Paleka. Very good morning to you all. It's nice uh, to see that there are so many enthusiasts still to help out the farmers. I'm very happy, actually, so early in the morning, at 10 in the morning, the hall is almost full. Uh, this is a good omen, I, I believe. Today, Monegar was just talking about how distressed the farmer is, the kind of hardships he is going through. And yesterday, we were all sitting and chatting and uh, Palekaji was saying, forget the figures. Government, all the governments, whether it's the state governments or the central government, they have no answer to mitigate the sufferings of the farmers. They are trying in no uncertain terms, I believe me. But all this we feel has not helped anybody. Like for example, today a farmer commits suicide, the government is paying him 6 lakhs to the family. What help will it be when the person is not there anymore? And the kind of schemes the governments are envisaging, they are really not reaching the farmer. The thought is good, the idea is good, but when it comes to implementation, it's not bearing fruit. That's a big concern. We talk a lot. There are sit in the drawing rooms, talk about the sufferings of the rural folk, mainly the farming community. But when it comes to action, I'm sorry to say this, most of us never ever venture out and do our bit. That's what's happening today. And I'm very happy, at least there's one person with a noble thought, with a mission, who is going across the country, length and breadth of the country, traveling for nothing, is not gaining anything out of this. All his time, all his energies, he is only trying to bring the farmer out of the distress, to mitigate his sufferings. That's what he is trying to propagate going around the country. And I'm happy most of the guys here who are all here today, we all belong to the, we all have a rural background. Our ancestors, our families have been in the farming uh, business. Though you're, you're all very well educated, migrated to, to the urban areas, your roots are still in the villages. And I'm happy to see that you're trying, at least you're here to take his message across and help the farmer in distress. There's so much happening. Like for example, like Mona was just mentioning, during those days when we were in need of food, when we were importing all kinds of food, 
the green revolution started in fact uh, mr palekar ji also after his post graduation in agriculture he also started that kind of agriculture then he switched over he saw the like you know the kind of uh, erosion in the soil and then he switched over to this kind of thing whatever today the need of the hour is sustainable agriculture zero budget agriculture basically farming has become a very expensive uh, this thing particularly by use of too much of uh, chemical fertilizer more so in the state of telangana when it comes to the ratio across the country they are using more time four times more than what other states are using telangana farmers that's where the hardship begins and what's at the end what are we getting nothing out of it governments are trying to help them by giving some kind of support price but that's not enough the expenses are more than what the pro they produce so here whatever mr palekar will be trying to te will tell you today tomorrow will have to be again taken back to the rural folk we have been trying to do this i am into this a uh, cooperative movement for the last 10 years but it's really very i mean sad to tell like whatever efforts we are making is not enough there has to be somebody like uh, mr palaika who is really come out with a wonderful thought a very noble thought noble idea where the farmer investment is absolutely zero like the zero budget thing and in the bargain the produce which he gets it will fetch him more than what the present uh, produce is the yield is also like you know people have apprehensions but the yield is also on par with the regular agriculture so this has to, this has to be told to the farming community the farmers the you know, by and large are very like you know uh, they do not take the initiatives they have to be told they have to be mentored they have to be counseled uh, they have to be to, they have to see it to believe it this is where you guys will come into the picture like you know through the social media or to through the technology which uh, which is available this has to be taken to them told to them uh, educate them and then uh, convert them and uh, put them uh, le i mean try and help them to practice the uh, good agricultural practices what uh, mr palekar will be telling you today uh, without talking much without taking much time because he is the person who is going to be uh, talking to you uh, today and tomorrow uh, my only request is whoever is really concerned because we talk a lot like what i was saying today uh, the climate change world over it's a big concern mr mohan i was just telling this time this year it's there's no monsoon there's no winter it's all like one weather last seven, i mean 5 five, 5 five to 6 months since june till the november it's more like summer there's no rainy season uh, no winter season we the whole world is thinking about this they are they are having a great concern but we people uh, uh, still have not got that into our mind tomorrow there is a threat to the mankind itself we all will perish so we will have to 
think in terms of what Mr. Palaykaji is thinking. Uh, this has to be taken forward, this has to be told to everyone, wherever there is a possibility, uh, either through your technology or word of mouth, but who all are here, I request you all to really uh, take it, because whatever is preaching is after practice. He has got the results to prove it. And uh, this has to be told to the farmers uh, across the country, not only in Telangana, whether it's Andhra, Telangana, or our neighbors, Karnataka. This has to be told to them. And then, then only the whole, the purpose, I mean, uh, it will be a purposeful uh, uh, session. Uh, anyway, I'm happy that uh, you are all here once again to listen to Mr. Subhash Palekar and I uh, thank uh, the Gram Bharati and especially uh, Mohan Egaru and the uh, others who are in this, uh, uh, this uh, who are leading this kind of movement under Subhash Palekar's uh, leadership. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm.